This is a tutorial on how to use the Rust Twitch app. This application basically watches Twitch streamers for you and you can claim their drops automatically. So let's start off with the cookies. So this is my webpage. What I recommend doing, well actually I don't recommend, you probably should do this. You would go to Twitch and you, you will need to um, download an extension called Cookie Editor. Now once you've added this to, uh, to whatever browser you're using, I'm using GoPro right now. Once you've added this to your browser, you want to log into Twitch, head over to your extensions, click on it, and then copy your current, um, copy all of these. Basically, just by hitting this export button, it'll copy all of these for you. And once you do that, you want to go back to your editor of choice, paste it inside this variable, so cookies equal to, and then paste it in the equal sign. And you're going to need to modify it a little bit. You want to hit Control H. Now, if you're using Notepad, Notepad++, it should pop up with a Find and Replace window. You want to write in the find. You want to write false. And replace with also the capital F. Replace all those. Do the same thing for true. Replace with a capital T. And then once more for null, but you're going to do quotation, null, quotation. That should be that. Now you want to get rid of all of these same site. So you just want to copy this, paste it in here, make sure you get the comma in there, and you want to replace it with nothing. And now there's another variant. You want to do the same thing too right here. Nothing in here. Replace. There you go. Now you should be done after you do those two. You should be done with the cookies. Now inside of the API, you want to head over to is logged in, and you want to just put your Twitch name in here. So mine is going to be easy to make sure you uh, keep it all lowercase. Make sure it's fully lowercase, no, no capital letters. After doing that, you want to set up your drivers. So for this app, you are required to download Edge because Chrome is detected. Whenever you try to do this, it is de uh, detected as a as a automated software and Twitch won't let you watch the broadcast. So I just recommend using Edge because for some reason they don't detect it. Now, once you download Edge, make sure you install it in the default directory. After you do that, you want to Google Edge Web Drivers. First link that comes up, you want to click on it, and you will be taken here. So go back to your main.py, and you're going to want to go to main, and you're going to run it. Now, you're going to get an error code, and that's what we need. So it'll say right here, current browser version is 89, 68, 89, and 68. You're going to go back to this page and you're going to download 8968 or if it's like 910 for you download that or 8540 whatever just make sure they match whichever version you have download it right here once you do that replace this right here let me go to do so inside it you'll you'll see this inside of here delete this one delete that one and move in the different one the one that you downloaded that is correct. After you do that, you should be okay with the web drivers. So now you want to go to api.py and I'm going to teach you how to configure this. So these are all of the Twitch streamers name that it's going to try to watch. So if we head over to web drivers, Twitch, nope, Rust Twitch drops. As you see, Suspect, Nora, all of these people, they're all listed right over here. And zero means your watch time. So if you put one, that means you watch one hour. Two means you watch two hours. 1.5 means you watch 75% or an hour and a half. Stuff like that. Let's say you've already watched him, him, and him. It will skip these guys and won't watch them for you. So I'll, but I have not seen these. So I'll put these all to zero. And it will go in order. So if you want to update these, you just replace the names with the new people. So let's say, I don't know, XQC's in here. You'd put XQC cow. You know, same, same. And after you do that, you should be these. You should be set. So let's go ahead and run it. And it should be all good to go. Should automatically do everything for you. You just come on. You get a bunch. And now that I'm on a schedule, it's especially a pain in the ass. Because like, even if you don't feel like streaming that day, you're. Come on and do something. Uh, my degenerate son Ted wants to see the slow mode off chat for a minute. Yeah, let me get let me get it back to biz. How's the hundred viewer Andy like? There we go. All right.
Uh, now you are. I'll be back to in. normal on the. Thing. Watching the stream. What I recommend doing is dropping the quality down to 160p. The door will be on the front of every base my nice man. And you, sh that should be the end of that. And it'll automatically get your reward and finish watching for you. And that is how to use I, uh, the Rust Twitch Pi app.